everybody, I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time checking me out, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And a special shout out to my regular commenters in the comments section. Thank you so much for sharing with each other. I appreciate how you guys are being uh, forthcoming and sharing your experiences with each other and how you're catching on and having the conversations because that's how we grow and understand astrology, understand behavior patterns, the sun signs, etc. And, you know, share a few laughs while we at it. I know some of you, it's very funny, not all, not laughing at your pain, obviously, but for those of you that are funny when you are sharing your stories, thank you so much. I've been appreciating reading how you uh, take what you go through and you put some humor to it because after all, life is just a series of lessons. So thank you for taking it in stride, taking it on the chin and letting the rest of us know what to avoid sometime some of the good things out there. I enjoyed some of those comments also from you that you guys have been sharing um, how heated things get <clears throat> in those departments. So <laughs> thank you so much. Keep the comments coming. Definitely appreciate you. Now, if you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe my chant to my channel let other people know about it i appreciate it but so they can come on and they can learn some things and they can share as well all righty so let's get into it because everybody always gets nuts about me having to take care of the business of inviting you to the channel thanking you for uh subscribing thanking you for your time but that's just who i am i appreciate each and every one of you i am grateful for you and I will always take the time to say thank you. So there you have it. On with the video. So in this video, we are going to talk about the three zodiac signs that break up with you so easily and they get over it as those instantaneous. Yeah, <laughs> there are people out there that are like that. Um, now, for the rest of us, most of us, going through a breakup is a difficult time, right? If you were invested in this thing, um, it can be tough emotionally. But, you know, there is that period where it's normal for people to feel some type of way about a breakup. But pining after our ex long after the relationship has ended feels like a special kind of hell. And I have a video for you for those sun signs that have a little bit more difficulty breaking up with people than the norm. Now, this video is going to talk about the polar opposite, where it seems as though you break up and 10 minutes later, these fools <laughs> are on to the next. Makes you wonder, you know, was the next waiting in the wings? But that's not always necessarily true. Some sun signs can just simply and be out the door. Yeah. Mm hmm. Seem like a bad trick of nature, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you dated some of those? Are you one of those people? <clears throat> well, let's talk about it. Now, the reality is being able to get over a breakup instantly is not something everyone can do. Okay? So if you're in one of those people, you're in the majority. That's actually, most people cannot do that. If you're someone who can easily move on to the next person right after a breakup, there may be an astrological reason for that. That's right. So in order to understand how someone will act post breakup, astrologers could look at their sign placements of an individual in their personal planets and that gives us a clue. For instance, okay, it, astrologers will take a look at your sun sign and that deals with your ego, your moon, which deals with your feelings, your Mercury, which deals with how you communicate, your Mars, which deals with how you go about things, your actions, and your Venus, which is your love style. 
So you couple all those placements together and that will give us a pretty good indication of how you will be both in a relationship, but even more so how you are after it, post breakup. Now, when more of your personal planets are in earth and water signs, then that's an indicator that you are more likely to form deeper attachments and bonds to people, okay, quicker, okay? So if you have a lot of earth and a lot of water in your chart, which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, well, this water signs feel emotions very deeply. While your earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, are steadfast and they don't like change. So they are the signs that are, are likely to try to stick and work it out because they don't want to change the pattern. Yes, being in a relationship causes a routine. It's a love pattern. So the earth signs don't like to disrupt it, especially if they're not the ones trying to end the relationship. Now, many times these signs will hang on to relationships long after there do. And again, if you want to know what those signs are that do that the most, I have a video that discusses that. But here we're going to talk about how when someone's Mars, Venus, or Moon is mostly air or fire signs, so if they have a lot of that in their chart, then they can be those people that experience less attachments in relationship, also known as they can move the hell on quickly. <laughs> yeah, they get the hell on, excuse my language, very quickly. They are the ones. All right, we're done. <laughs> so if you have a partner that has a lot of air and a lot of fire in their chart, don't be surprised if they are the type of people that post breakup, they're out of there, okay? So air signs rationalize their emotions with thought more than intensely feeling them. So even if they feel a lot of love, and they do, people, air signs get a real bad rap saying they never feel anything. That's not true. Air signs fall in love just along with the rest of them. However, if they can rationalize why you are no longer good for their life, that's, that's their go-to. They're gonna go there first, all righty? And just like with fire signs, they have the ability to just cut and run. <laughs> they can blaze forward, from the past with optimism. A fire sign will say, well, hey, didn't work out, baby. Gotta go. <laughs> Again, yes, fire signs fall in love. Yes, fire signs try to work out their relationship, but you know, when you put the writing on the wall, or if you say it's over, fire signs are out of there, all right? <laughs> so what we're gonna talk about is that, believe it or not, there are three signs that can cut and run like the champions. They are the top three that when the relationship is over, gosh, you may not have even finished your goodbyes and these signs are out of there. So I'm gonna let you know what three signs those are coming up after this. You got your predictions? You think you know who the three top three are? <laughs> God, I hope you didn't date them. But if you did, leave it in the comment section. We'll talk about it. Top three sides that break up lightning, like lightning, coming up right after this. Okay, so you're ready for the top three signs that can break up with you and don't look back and they just have the easiest amount of time doing it? Well, here we go. So the first sign that is the number one sign that can get over a breakup quick, fast, and in a hurry is none other than Aries. That's right. Anybody born from March 21st to April 19th is also known as X Sun Sign Aries, and they are the kings and queens of breaking up and moving on lightning fast. Here's why, okay? Aries is a sign that's known for their ambitions, all right, and their sense of adventure. And their passions. Yes, they do have those. Now, here's the thing. Aries and their fellow 
fire signs, which is Leo and Sagittarius. Now they can all easily move on from the past without looking back. It's just one of their traits. For them, it's easier for e for sun fire signs, excuse me, it's easy for them to be optimistic about the future and they look forward to the next best thing. That's just the characteristics of your fire sign. However, for Aries in particular, since they're the first sign in the zodiac, Aries people tend to prioritize their needs above the needs of others. Sorry, Aries, you know you do, all right? And if there was someone who they feel holds them back, and Aries will sense it, and they will know it's time to move on, and let me tell you, baby, <laughs> Aries is out of there. So, <laughs> if you're dating an Aries, and you think that things are going a little, uh, Please don't play that game. You know the game that people play. Well, we can just break up. And hey, we don't have to do this. <laughs> don't play that game with an Aries. Because if an Aries assesses the situation and they have decided that they are coming up short in this relationship, <laughs> they are out the door. So do not play the breakup game with an Aries because you will lose. <laughs> they are our number one sign that can break up with you quick, fast, in a hurry and never look back. Sorry, Aries. <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay. Number two. <laughs> are you ready for it? You think you know who, you, who it is? So the number two sign that can get over relationships instantly is none other than Gemini. <laughs> That's right, Gemini. People born from May 21st to June 20th are sun sign Gemini. And Gemini is an air sign known for being social butterflies and the gift of gab, okay? Geminis typically have no problem getting out there and meeting new people. So it's easy for them to quickly move on after a breakup, okay? As Geminis love to bounce around from place to place, meeting new people all the time, and they are kinda known for not wanting to commit to just one potential partner anyway. As well as, you know, most people call Geminis serial cheaters. Not necessarily true. However, because Geminis are always talking to people, they have been accused of always having someone waiting in the wings for them. So if you go to break up with the Gemini, it's not going to be too painful because they probably got one, two, or four <laughs> suitors waiting to take your place. Sorry, just getting a Gemini to commit in itself, to do it forever, isn't exactly an easy task. You already know that. So the, if the Gemini has committed to you, then chances are they're in it to win it. However, if a relationship doesn't work out, the Gemini is not going to spend too much time being sad before they float on to the next interesting person. So if you're in a relationship with a Gemini and you guys kind of break up and you think that you're going to give it like three weeks for everything to calm down, you might want to reconsider that type of thinking with the Gemini because in three weeks, they probably got a new partner. So you want to up that time chart to probably about two or three days <laughs> and you want to get back in there and talk to your Gemini, okay? Because you know, you tell a Gemini, I think we should break up for a little bit and have a little time for ourselves. Yeah, Gemini's gonna agree with that because um, they probably got something else or somebody else they wanna talk to. Sorry, Gemini. <laughs> the facts speak for themselves. So the number two sign that gets over breakups like lightning instantaneously, as in pew, I am out of here, is none other than you, Gemini. So if your partner's a Gemini, remember what I said, you guys like to do that breakup thing. 
don't do the two, three weeks away from each other stuff because uh, chances are Gemini's moved on. <laughs> Alrighty, that was number two, Sun Sign Gemini for the quick fire over breakups. Pew, out the door like lightning. Alrighty, so here we are for number three. You think you know who number three is? Hmm, is it a fire sign? Is it an air sign? Who do you think it is? Well, wait, no further. The number three <laughs> sign that gets over breakups almost instantly is none other than Aquarius. That's right, Aquarius. Aquarius people are anybody born from January 20th to February the 18th are known as sun sign Aquarius. Now, let's talk about Aquarius. Aquarius is a fixed sign, okay? Meaning that they can be very loyal to the people they love and care about, all right? So that's a misnomer that Aquarius won't commit to you. There are some very happily committed Aquarius people. Now, getting them to the commitment, that's a whole nother video, but it is possible, okay? Alrighty, but here's the thing. Aquarius is unique in that they may make better friends than romantic partners. In fact, an Aquarian would prefer that their romantic partner is their friend, their best friend, in fact, okay? So they tend to be the most detached among the zodiac signs, however, because their sun sign rules groups of people, loose connections and networks. That's who Aquarius is. Aquarius have the ability to nurture groups, large groups of people, and they flourish that way. But forming a deep bond one-on-one -on -one with just one person isn't exactly in their comfort zone because they are natural leaders of masses, okay? And they enjoyed that. So the Aquarius person, they practice detachment in their relationships and have no problem being alone if it doesn't work out because it's a defense mechanism for them. They have very big hearts. And when they do love, they love deeply. But you've got to get in there in order to experience that with your Aquarius, okay? So they will <laughs> quickly say, if you're the type of person that says, you know, I don't know where we are, you know, you're having this fictitious conversation with an Aquarius person, um, what are we? <laughs> this might not be a lead in that you wanna have with an Aquarius, and with, but if you do that, okay, cause that's kind of normal things people do today. Um, what you want to hear the Aquarius say is that we're friends. <laughs> okay, because if you hear him say, he or she say we're friends, that's a good thing. As I said to you, friendships are hugely important to Aquarius. However, <laughs> if they don't say much and you say, so, you know, I, you continue on with this line of questioning and probing and you say to an Aquarius, well, I think we're better off with friends. Well, <laughs> hey, listen, I, don't, I hope you meant it because <laughs> they're going to take that deal and <laughs> they're going to sign on the contract and they're going to say, you're right, I'm out of here, okay? Aquarius, I know <laughs> we're doing that. You know I'm telling the truth, Aquarius. So you don't want to play that game with an Aquarius. You don't want to play the maybe we're better off as friends game because the Aquarius will say, you're not even my friend, but okay, bye. You Aquarius can be cold. You can be cold out there in those streets, but it is true. So the Aquarius, because they can be detached and they can get themselves in that mind frame very quickly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> they came in as number three for the do not mess around and play the breakup game with the Aquarius. Well, first of all, did you get the Aquarius to commit to you? Because if you did, you're ahead of the game, honey. <laughs> Hang on. But if you didn't, and uh, it's not looking like you're going to, please, whatever you do, don't play the breakup game with the Aquarius because the Aquarius is going to snatch that contract from you. Say, yes, indeed. Yep, yep, yep. I'm out. <laughs> 
maybe not as fast as the Aries, Aries or the Gemini, but uh, yeah, there'll be lightning speed behind that Aquarius. So anyway, that's number three. The number three sign that can get over a breakup lightning speed is none other than Aquarius. Alrighty, so those are the three sun signs that can get over breakups quite easily. Now, of course, there are exceptions to the rule and there are other factors involved. And this video is pretty much tongue in cheek, although very true. <laughs> but it'll give you an indicator of why your mate possibly moved on really quickly um, post breakup. So, and it can also give you an idea of the type of person that you are that, geez, why do I get over relationships so quickly? Mm. <laughs> Maybe because you're one of those three signs, right? So of course there are a lot of different factors that can determine how long it takes for someone to get over a breakup. However, if you're looking for astrology, if you look to astrology for some answers, your birth chart can reveal a lot about how you love and bounce back after a breakup. If you'd like to know more about what your birth chart has to say about you, you can go to my website, www. Dot Sanji dot com. And you can set up a consultation where we can talk about everything in depth, one-on-one, -on -one, and I can explain what's happening in your birth chart, what it looks like as a head for you, and we can talk about some things that your chart indicates happened behind you, and perhaps talk about where those things lead you as far as love and career and uh, friendships and all kinds of wonderful things. So, Go to www.sanji.com if you would like more information and would like to understand your birth chart further in depth. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. As always, leave your comments in the comments section because I'll see you there and we can talk about more about those three signs that are lickety split, breaking up with folks. And if you are one of those sun signs and you've done that, share it below. Or if you've been with one of those sun signs and they've done it to you, let's hear about it. Alrighty, until next time, take care of each other. I'm Zaji.